bless you. I may dismiss you early, all right. I'm known to do that. Uh, may all you men be married to somebody you can't concentrate. Even with the word, you got to struggle to lock in. <laughs> Look at Jackson. Yeah, Jackson. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Look at They ain't as innocent as y'all think they are. All right. Not that music. They be listening to on the slide. Uh -huh. Oh, now here's Sister B come with this hat on, trying to outdo me. <laughs> Amen. And a belt. Oh. You know what? You know what? <laughs> you know what? Y'all want me to go home and change? Y'all, 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 y'all. Now, now, let, let, let me help religious people. Hey. <laughs> And, and you can ask Lisa and Tamika's birthday and see, and it's part of Shaquita's for See, whatever it takes to kill those triplets, amen. Amen. God ain't finished with that thing yet. It was too powerful. Too powerful. It was to feel good. If you can feel good about yourself at 7 a.m., there's a method to this. Because as my mental health professional, depression ain't no joke. Uh, ask him. Satan is jumping on foe. At the end of the year, he having his closeout sale. Ask him. Okay, well, I got a little song for y'all. It might be nerdy, but it's real. Man. Front row, Tinka. I want you to keep that little walk outside, feeling a cool breeze, breathing the fresh air and looking at part of me. All them hands with the one I love, and he says he loves me. Oh, don't forget the happy little thing. You better talk to yourself.
So if you wake up with this song, somebody gonna be in Don't love with you. Don't forget the little things in life that make you smile. Smiling, did you do last week? Oh, don't forget the little things. Man, that's my kind of music. That make you smile. Oh, oh. Tell them, Byron, the little things. Don't the things Her grandson being born. Smile. How y'all like that? Better, you better nerd up and start appreciating stuff. Amen. Amen. It take one text message. That's right. One phone call. Now. Amen. Yes. Oh, so many great things happen. Yes, Lord. Amen. Today is October 16th. Barlow Motors is one month old. Oh. It don't mean nothing to you. Your last name ain't Barlow. But for me... One month old. Huh? Still in transitions, a whole lot to owning a dealership, folk. License, paperwork, all that. Amen. Still looking for a mechanic, but God's like, you looking for him. I, I'm not sending anybody to my to my to my place. Oh, yeah, uh, God is the CEO of Barlow Motors. I'm just Barlow. Right. Amen. Right. That won't mean nothing to you, but it's good when the place that God sends you. That's We stuck on the word shalak, if you notice, we stuck. Because uh, this week, because Wednesday was a special. Uh, hold up, look at Aunt Janelle. I told Aunt Janelle she wasn't no mother in the church. Don't no mother have her hair slicked back like that with no earrings. I tell you, you better <laughs> listen to me. You can't wait to get no support holes on a long dress. <laughs> and I won't let you. Hair all slick back. I just thought I'd throw that in. Shalak is being sent. And we stuck on that. All right? Because this a Wednesday. <laughs> like Wednesday was a special. I know some of y'all don't do Bible class. But Wednesday was a special class. And so afterwards, I, I said, God, I ain't no false prophet. You, somebody, something, something going on. Somebody got sent. And sure enough, I found out, okay? Sure enough, somebody got sent. So write this down. The place, I know our address is 2216 Military, right? But it's really Jehovah Jireh. Why? It's the place where God provides. All right. All right. Yeah, we still got your seat for you. All right. Good vibration. Vibes. All right. I just want to read. Make sure your shirt is right. Okay. Uh, <laughs> so, 2216 military is really Jehovah Jireh. Remember, the man of God says, true, that Abraham never called God Jehovah Jireh. He called the place. All right, so this place is Jehovah, it provides. 8440 Q Street is another place where God provides. Okay, we provide. Uh, I have to have insurance on the signage. The sign on 84th Street has its own address. Uh, so therefore, this is some heavy stuff. I'm just really helping myself. I studied this stuff. So when I got in the region of where I was going to be sent to, the enemy tried to throw something in there, but he failed. I was just in the region. I never understood why that happened because I was in a region. This has been some kind of year for me, folks, beginning January the 1st. All right. And it just so happened, amen, it happens in the year of my double sixes. Yeah. Uh, me and Shaquita, we don't know ones in the double, amen, double, 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 double. It's still a year double if you don't believe it. Okay. 
Oh, y'all didn't know she's in a double inductee to the Hall of Fame. Huh? Yes, she is. She's inducted one place in another place. Hey, oh, yeah, y'all, yeah, y'all, yeah, you know what? Amen. So, so, watch this now. So, when God provides, but now in Hebrew, all you've ever heard all your life, ask your head, your, your layer. Jehovah Jireh means God will provide. Hebrew reads different. He says, watch this, God sees. Think about this. I like God provides better. How about God sees? God sees. <laughs> mm-hmm. God sees what you in need of. All right. God sees. Huh? That people are panicking and getting divorced and not going through their home loop, but God sees that He's gonna take care of you regardless. That's right. God sees you need healing. God sees you need this. God, man, huh? You don't ever want God to shut His eye. Amen. God sees. If God sees, He can provide. Oh, come on now. And since God is omniscient, He sees every. Anybody want to praise God because he sees? Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Are you glad he sees what you can't see? Because yes, faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. That's on our part, but God sees. See. Somebody tell God, thank you. You see what I'm in need of. Thank you. Thank you. You see. Thank you. Huh? God sees your finances. God sees your opposition. God sees your enemy. God sees your heart. God sees whatever you need. God said, if I see it, amen, and I do see it, I can provide. You might, this might be the only word you remember because you got God looking at you and Satan is trying to convince you that somehow God, amen, even though, amen, uh, the earth, he sit up on the soul of the earth. Somehow he'd have forgot about you. Somebody rebuke that devil. Amen. If you made it through a whole week of him trying to depress you and trying to get you into some tomorrows that you don't have, give God some praise. God sees. Amen. Money. So if he saw it last week, he'll see it this week and the week after. Somebody shout hallelujah for the eyesight. The ophthalmology of God. Huh? Who has never had to get cataracts removed when it comes to you and I. <laughs> he ain't never had to have surgery. And to get the clouds out of his eye. That's right. Thank you, Lord. God don't have bifocals. <laughs> Well, he can't determine the distance. He's not nearsighted or farsighted. Huh? God sees. All right, that's my Hebrew for y'all. But I got something else. And, huh? Some of y'all be off to see the wizard, but the rest of us, uh, <laughs> I like just hit my brain off to see the wizard. But somebody, somebody, somebody in... Huh? <laughs> Ran right into a word. And I'll show you. When is an iPhone 13 mini? Yeah, I like it. When is an iPhone not an iPhone? When it becomes a seed. <laughs> oh, y'all want it, you want it, you want to have a good party early? Let's do the math. Erase all that. They weren't going to write it down that way. Let me show y'all something. I'll give you a scripture. Because while we were sitting here, God was 
already determined he was going to send somebody. Everything God does, he does on purpose. Y'all ain't found that out yet. Everything. Everything. Can't figure it out. Amen. So, so watch this. Write down Boston. Not the beings, the city. <laughs> so, and then write down um, North Texas State University. Let's put North Texas, not North Omaha, North Texas State University. Okay, so, so, yes, no, oh, okay, yeah, because my most, yeah, I, I will grade your, I'll grade your handwriting. There you go. There you go. All right. So, Davion, we'll use Davion. He has a tremendous gift. He had, he, had, he had young ladies trying to join the band <laughs> to get the drummer. They were, call, they, were, they were all in his mama's face. <laughs> and so on the way to Dallas, you pass this university, on the, the North Texas State. Hmm? But God said, I'm not sending him there. Okay. And this place, let me help some of y'all who, this place was tremendously cheaper than this place. I dare say one year of this place could have covered all four of this place. Quit looking at things because they cheap. If God sends you to a region to build a house, God is not, does not care about the interest rates. Huh? That's right. Because God knows if he wants to, you don't even have to get financed. Okay. All right. Just, uh -huh. All right, look at this. I'm cheap. So one semester here, <laughs> man, Probably take four years of this place. Yes, yes. But God, show you, huh? Mm -hmm. So God, now, if he had had, okay, I'm sorry, if he had been a Barlow child with a mother and a father, you know, a sacrifice, but so it would have been a lot easier for the single mother, and that would have been a sacrifice because there's no help. For him to go there. Uh, not knowing how. This is a $360,000 education. Yep. Single mother. Yep. Four times her salary. To send one child to school. Man. Huh? Yes. But God sees. <laughs> It's not what she makes, it's who God is. Oh, uh, y'all, man, huh? So in the beginning, I don't see how, but you don't have God's vision. God said, if I see, I'm not worried about it. He is a graduate of Berkeley School of Music. A graduate. So we get down there. Don't worry, I got a scripture because something happened. So we, I remember being there. It was a big deal. So I seeded into where he was going to be. Knowing all the kids there are brilliant, all the kids there are gifted. They almost make Justin Timberlake get up out of his seat. I mean, even kids that you think are nerdy. Uh, when Daydrum brought that band, every one of those kids is bad. <laughs> Period. Yes. Kyla, the keyboardist, yes. the drummer, yes. huh? The bass. Davion, who was a phenomenal drummer, ran into so many phenomenal drummers. He like, you know what? Uh, I'll, I'll just be an engineer who can drum. Yes. No, that's real. 
But he doesn't come home because where a lot of those kids were in their element. He's someone trying to blaze a path. Yeah, okay. Come on. Uh-huh. There's never been a Bailey like Davion. So he can't come home. Yeah. Ooh, like he can't quit. Right. Whatever Kobe he's frustrated with, he just got the... So I seeded into it. Uh-huh. I said, I don't want the rich kids to see his coat and say he don't belong here. Right. So I gave him the same kind of coat they got. Canada goose. Cost a thousand dollars. Same coat now is sixteen hundred. Same coat. The exact same coat. Climbing to eighteen hundred. So I see it into him being in Boston. Cause seed time and harvest. Get Genesis 8 and 12. I'll tell you what seed time and harvest is, according to the Bible. <coughs> All right, 22. Look at 8 and 22. Genesis. While the earth remaineth seed time and harvest and cold and heat, and summer and winter and day and night shall not cease. Cease. All right. So, Brandon, I seed into him a coat. This child turns around. All right. So, at the beginning of the year, what Bishop Bismarck prophesied in 2009. 2009 comes to pass. I see into Davion in Boston, and there is a car sitting, both only for rich people. All right? Not someone who is rich in faith. Uh-huh. Uh, don't, don't get lost. Come on, uh, but it's sitting in Boston for me. It's sitting in the. Uh, the city that I seeded into a young man. Yeah. Throw some numbers so you can tell your cousin. So a thousand dollar coat becomes a three hundred thousand dollar car Ooh. that the wealthy people can't get. <laughs> no matter how much money they have, they walk by it. They can't get it. It's reserved. Who am I talking to? It's reserved. What are you doing with a three hundred something dollar car? Ask God if He sees that you have the need to know. We're still in Boston, okay? Still in Boston. Uh So this same Davion that I see, uh I see it into a region. Uh Not knowing this now, he turns back around. And supposed, th- thought he's supposed to be a, a, in Atlanta. That was the whole goal. Go to Atlanta, whatever. And but thank God, thank God, man, man, thank God that he allowed God to order his steps. Yeah. Huh? Huh? Now everybody can. You can clap, but everybody can. Because some of the things that you ran into is because you ordered those steps. God in order, though. You placed that order. And the reason why my beard ain't black is because I spent 36 years trying to get folk to cancel their orders. And some of them left the church. It don't matter. All right? Cancel your order. You didn't God in order that. You ordered that. That's right. Right? He's supposed to be in Atlanta, but No. Not only does he go to Boston and get the 300 and wow, the degree and the car, they have about the same price range. Uh-huh. Y'all play, man. But he goes and gets something more valuable. He gets the wife that ain't there. <laughs> oh, it means something. Huh? It's hard to go forward if you with the wrong person. That's all we trying to tell people on the third row. Hmm? 
because that's extra weight on your psyche and your mind. Huh? Who knows with that? All he brings to the table, huh? The destroyer could have been right there waiting on him. Hmm? Because it was a cheaper education compared to this. But he goes and gets the right woman. Yes. Right? Yes. Say, so come here. Huh? They, 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 he doesn't, this is, cross that out. That's off the thing. Um, and then put Atlanta. Which is where, and don't, don't feel bad, all of us have thought we were supposed to be someplace we weren't. Right. Now, if you tell the truth. Yeah. Oh, now, now y'all lying early in the morning. Mm-hmm. So, where's your pen at? So, so, so he wants to go to Atlanta. This is temporary, you know. He, he's, take your pen out, girl. You're strong, girl. <laughs> Dang, my God. <laughs> Wade couldn't get it off yeah. either. <laughs> <laughs> so he go to Atlanta. He think he going to Atlanta. No, Bree ain't in Atlanta. That's right. Hmm. No, oh, cross that out. Sitting in Omaha, he has to go to an Apple store. It's not Atlanta. It's Apple. <laughs> The Apple Store in Village Point. Y'all, y'all, y'all track it. Yeah. So he comes here, here, and, and some of y'all, it's nothing like God changing your hit your plans. Okay, all right. It goes to an Apple Store. So we're still in Boston. He turns around. What I tell y'all in Mark, he hears something. Okay, I heard something last Saturday. I seated into to what I heard, and at seven and by noon, all hell broke loose. But it don't matter because I already seated before the hell broke. Right. I'm trying to help some of y'all, right. 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 because you'll see and then say, "See, it didn't work, God." No, 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 no. The reason why the hell broke is because it works. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Some of y'all are gonna have a hard time walking with God. You already do because. Everything is a shortcut, no opposition, no nothing. You're not going to, I might as well take to your face. You're not going to make it. That is not the way of the saint of God. Period. Me, you. Period. Okay. If that was the way Israel could, there was a shorter distance. He said, no, I'm going to take you through the process. It's because your testimony is what helps folk. It's that process. Uh, uh, somebody is going to go kayaking on your tears to their destination. That's too much for y'all. It don't matter. Oh, so, back, so, so he, he does not go to Atlanta. He goes to an Apple store in Village Point. But he hears something. You know, Man, you know I, I was supposed to buy this phone in Dallas. And I said, no, why don't you wait? Because AT&T, just get it when you... You know, because my phone was getting kind of rusty looking. I shut up. <laughs> you learn to shout before you twist your neck on my phone, all right? Take shouting lessons. We're going to send you to Kojic University, all right? So my phone was looking rusty. I don't need that no more. Phone was looking rusty. And so he, he's, he's, he was blessed that I didn't buy it in Dallas. And a young man tell it, says, no, why don't you just get it in your own town because you got AT&T and that, whatever. So I, and then he calls me up, says, meet me where we meet at in Village Inn. Yeah. Well, I'll be. Yeah. He gets me this iPhone 13. Yeah. I, I came up five phones. Sister Tina, I would have, I would have had a four, but I dropped it. Cause I ain't into phones like that. And he gives me a thirteen, huh? And the wife, we talking about young family, child, they need every penny. Hmm. 
So this is a big deal. This, this, oh, yeah. $900, what's it cost? 900 800 with a discount. So this ain't, you know, every, some of y'all need $800 right now. <laughs> some of y'all need $8 right now. <laughs> All right. <laughs> $800. So that's a big deal with a young family and a child. Chris can eat 800 hours of groceries in one week. (laughs) Chris is an iPhone. (laughs) When it it comes to his appetite. You got got a little iPhone with you too, don't you? I don't know where she, I don't know what, who she feeding. So this is a big deal, but he, he does it with the wife who's in agreement. So I meet them together. You know what? That's how important it is who you with. She could have sat in the car and married. You know we need 800, which is, they do. But it was a seed, right? Well, guess what the seed produced? <laughs> it just, oh man, this is good. It's just an iPhone. You know, I could have bought this myself. <laughs> but he heard something. And yeah. he said he was praying that I didn't get it. Okay. I got it myself. Oh, yeah. Lord. Yes. And it just so happened, thank you, mate, that <laughs> young couple need the money. Some of y'all need $80, not eight, $80. 800 to a young couple is like a fortune. Yeah. Some of y'all are like, it's a fortune to me right now. I need right, $800. Right. All right, $800. But he does it. They were up there in the parking lot. Marry you somebody like a Davion. They're giggling. She ain't got no attitude. Hurry up. they like giggling like kids. After seeding something in that they, they could have used that money. Okay? Well, I'll be. That's my word. That ain't God's word. The iPhone turns into, as of January, that Davion who seeded an Apple iPhone was selected out of all the people that work at Apple for an engineering position in Silicon Valley. (laughs) Silicon Valley out of all the Apple employees. For six months, paid for per diem. Oh, y'all, my huh? He's being sent. Somebody tell God, thank you. He's being sent. To Silicon Valley. Six months leaves in January. Huh? I got ahead of myself. So a May Lee seeds into a Davy eye, he takes what's seeded into him, seeds into an iPhone, and now he's on his way to Silicon Valley with an engineering position. Uh, I'm going to give y'all another chance because y'all kind of slow. Somebody thank God that God sees God sees. He being sent. Huh? 
Y'all ain't know it's Silicon Valley. You got to help them. Amen. Terrell, they don't know what's in Silicon Valley. Huh? Got him in the area. I'm going to say it again. Give you a chance to double up. Out of all the Apple employees. What made him stand out was what happened in Boston. The Berkeley degree on his resume that I seed it into. <laughs> and you struggling. With 20, 10 cents on a dollar. Amen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sent to Silicon Valley. Sent. How many of you know, not, not only are they getting an engineer, they're getting a man of God. They're getting a husband. they get getting somebody faithful. Huh? Not only will he touch your computer, your phone, he's being sent to touch your life. Somebody shout hallelujah. Anytime you sit, it ain't never just an isolated thing. And I'm going to prove it. And then we're going to go home and I'm going to go to breakfast. Sent. Sent. Huh? Huh? Sent to Silicon Valley for six months. He is on the radar. He is on the radar. Huh? We have an Apple employee with a degree from Berkeley who's an engineer. Yeah, huh? Sent. Sherlock. Now, here's the rest of it. Oh, yeah. See, young man, only a handful of us know how close he came to choosing the wrong one. The wrong one. Yeah, Jackson. The wrong one. Close. Hmm? Told you that. The right one wasn't at North Texas. The right one was in Boston. Go ahead, Bishop. Go ahead. I have it in my journal where individuals try to separate him from the right one. Yep. Hmm? Can't no devil separate you from your destiny. All right. Amen. Huh? But it gives you something. Listen to this, Trey, to build upon that when a disagreement, because you have to, you have to mesh childhoods and expect. I don't care who you are. Love of your life, you got to mesh childhood. That's the advantage of watching somebody grow up. Y'all, you already know how they were raised. Boo 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 boo. Now, which makes Ariel and Stephanie just amazing. Yes, yes. But her benefit was she was listening. And she's an easy person to live with because of stuff that she just does. She hears a word and it becomes her word, not Pastor Barlow's word. See, that's what you, you, you know, my name in your mouth going to mess you up. Uh, I, I, I've been up since 3.30 hearing a word. Come on, bitch. Okay, all right. Come on. 3.30 this morning. Yes, right? sir. So, so her and Stefan, they just rare. It just so happens that Ariel and, Bri and, and Brianna are just, they talk. She in London and they find a way because iron sharpens iron. Yeah. Yeah. You can't be happily married talking to somebody who's unhappy. Mm -hmm. Huh? So a happy wife talks to another happy wife. Amen. Because we got to keep happy in this family. All right. Huh? 
So God ain't sending no depressed man to Silicon Valley. Ain't no telling what. He might stop somebody who's gifted from committing suicide. Y'all, are y'all convinced that folk got problems? People got problems, huh? People have problems. He might be sending him to Silicon just to straighten Kanye out so that he can, amen, put his face. Come on, Bishop. That's the element he going to be around. Huh? It might be too much to come to Omaha, so he got to go in Silicon Valley because they all got homes in California. And, but there is a man being sent, amen, more than an engineer, more than a husband. A man of God is being sent to feed somebody. Somebody's dying if he don't go there. Somebody's going to quit if he don't go there. Somebody's suicidal if he don't go there. I want everybody who know they being sent. Huh? So coach, your wife infected all these lies. It's where you come in. Now the enemy going to try to jump on her for every picture she posted. Huh? Uh, that's how you know you, you, you sent. You get responses from hell. Right, right. Uh-huh. Huh? Yep. And, and you they don't wait three or four months. Right. <laughs> but thank God. Yes. Huh? <laughs> Whatever think it's going to stop him He can make one call to his beautiful wife. If she ain't there, amen. They're trying to work out a little logistic. But man, to have somebody say, baby, you sin. Right. It don't matter. And huh? If, if whatever tried to stop us from being together couldn't stop us, this is just another thing that ain't going to stop us. And because we went through that first thing, amen, because we went through Ishmael, we can appreciate Isaac. Somebody shout hallelujah. You got to have an Ishmael. I ain't studying y'all. <laughs> Raphael told me, I said, man, man, owner of this dealership, used car dealership, man, this man, like buying cars and selling them and having a business, a whole different ball game. Raphael says, Come on. but daddy, uh-huh. you started a church <laughs> with nothing, <laughs> with nothing. And you start a church with a family and you didn't have nothing. You far from having nothing. Your kids are watching you. (laughs) In other words, this can't be harder than that. So that that that's why that's why the wife, like a devil, gonna let him come. There. Somebody suicide. He's being sent yeah. for more than being an engineer. Yeah. He's been he's sent to do what? Say somebody feed somebody. You're right. I'm gonna teach him one thing, and I'm going to breakfast. Uh, all this was happening on Wednesday. Wow. Because Joseph, you know. Was, was in prison. He tried to get out in year 11. I can't imagine one week being confined with something I know I didn't do. Right. Don't hate on Joseph because he like, did y'all forget about me? No, it wasn't them. God who sees saw it wasn't time yet. Everything with God is timing. Yes, sir. Everything. Timing, yes. To everything there is a season and a Emotion. Hi. So your emotion, your emotion, your attitude, your lack of praise, your ungratefulness, your, you all right, you're going to fool around. You can't say it was the devil. The devil tired of some of y'all lying on him. It's not the devil. It's you. Huh? It's you. You really think you're going to pout your way to No, you're not. 
Some of us have tried that. Come on, powders. Come on, criers. Come on, God, you better. All right. If it worked, I would have told you it worked. It don't work. If anything, he'll heat, <laughs> he'll heat it up. Anybody have a parent say, I'm going to give you something to cry about? Uh, that's why the prisons are full now because that parent ain't around no more. Oh, you mad? I'm going to give you. You better straighten your lips out. God tells somebody, you better straighten your lips out. Man, I've been nothing but good to you. I have blessed you. I have looked beyond your fault. I've given you credit for one little. I- I remember being in the service, going through some depression, and went to this mall, and I saw this horrifically crippled person. I was 18 years old. Like, you know, what am I doing? Just, whoo, man, my journals are unreal. Mm-hmm. And God said, see him? That's permanent. What you're going through is not permanent. That's, right. That's all I needed. I bounced back. Amen. Huh? I saw that like, ooh. So, he's going down there where God is sending him. Mm. Yes. All the applicants yes, yes. were wasting their time. <laughs> huh? I, I'm talking about David, but I'm talking to somebody who's listening. If you ain't listening, you just wait till I get done. I don't know why you can get up and come. It's too early in the morning to come here and not listen. You could be on your third bad dream. Okay? <laughs> None of the other applicants. Uh, oh, my God. <laughs> you know how many Apple stores there are? Employees? And only one is being sent? Because he heard a word. See, some of you, hopefully it's not a fatal mistake. Run or scared of a word that is not in lockstep with how you feel. That's a fatal mistake. Yes, it is. Okay. That's why Satan will time your ungratefulness to do you in. Are you looking at the wrong clock, huh? Even though this is a Rolex, this ain't God's time. Okay. It's just an investment I made, all right? Uh, this ain't God's time. I don't care what it costs. All right? God's timing, write this down before I go to bed, is everything. That's right. Hmm? <clears throat> so when, 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 Forces was trying to make, separate him and Bree. They was messing with God's timing. Huh? So anytime some try to mess with God's timing, you going to win. Amen. Huh? If God's, I don't care if they double interest rates. If that area is there and that ditch and that home, amen, it ain't Kenny, Uber, or whatever, yes, you got to do what you got to do to close, but if God said, I want you in that neighborhood, amen, don't worry about how, just understand, just because you don't see it don't mean God's vision is cloudy, I'm going to give you another chance, thank God for what God sees. He didn't see no way he was going to Silicon Valley. There was a time he didn't even see if they was even going to be together. They moved her out of his life. Is that her? And then she got a fine twin sister. Ain't that her? Huh? Why? You're messing with God's timing. Huh? Messing. Don't mess with his timing. Don't do it. It was time for me. To get in the house I didn't build. Yes, sir. <laughs> it was time for me to get in the house I didn't build to fund the business I didn't start. 
from the same man. Right. Get his house and now his business. Because it was tough. Y'all just saw that there's another piece of property where another, I can't yeah. tell y'all too much. <laughs> My son, Cammy, who's done an excellent job. He like, man, he just ripping and running. I come yeah. and go. He ripping and running. Uh, but God is showing him something. Yes, Lord. Huh? <laughs> we ain't waiting on the mechanic. We waiting on God's timing. That's it. He's already did. Oh, man. The big part. So most time when you're trying to build, you got to go find a property. Well, with our property came another piece of property to build something else. Oh, y'all play too much. <laughs> Amen. Because it was time. <laughs> it was timing. Uh, timing. So the reason why you have to be sent to rail is so whatever messes with you messes with God. That's right. When you're out on your own, then you got to go back to the God that you didn't want to hear a word from to straighten out your mess. And come on, be honest. Sometimes he does. Yeah. Oh, uh, y'all play. Yes, sir. Uh, oh, we all been in the will of God. Quit yeah. lying. Yeah. See, Satan even tired of you lying. He the father lie, but you must be the stepfather. <laughs> <laughs> Who besides me thought something was God and it wasn't? Oh, no, no, you know what? No. Some of y'all woke up a lot and gonna go to bed. What? Okay. But when you sin, yes, you have being sent is an insurance policy for your soul. Yes. Write that down. It's insurance policy yes. Yes. for your soul. Now, I'm going I'm to shift gears on you. He sent, all right? But there's something he has to do. This is good. Mm -hmm. Even though he sent. Uh -huh. And his wife is happy. Amen. And now you see what the, what the enemy was trying to stop in Boston. Mm -hmm. Was that he couldn't stop. Right. Was for him to emotionally displace himself the school's too hard mom i found this beautiful girl and, and i'm gonna tell you it's always been we heard about you the whatever we were that day celebrating right it was you yeah uh that's why you come around Are anybody looking at you funny because he never looked enough he grew up with all of them okay i won't see nothing else all right grew up with all of them <laughs> Now, one child put a note on Stefan's car, but yeah. I think he with Ariel, right? Yeah. <laughs> I'll be glad I didn't read the note. <laughs> Amen. I've been reading now about three, two or three. I don't know what, how I was. All right. uh -huh. so watch what he has to do, even though he's sent. But now it makes, it makes sense why the enemy try to emotionally displace you because it was some curriculum that was hard but he didn't come home there was a fire in the dorm but he yeah. couldn't get no smoke on him That's right. huh a whole bunch of stuff Thank you, God. they tried to separate didn't they pull you out to school they pulled her out to try to separate her from him it didn't work though did it no it didn't work huh no. okay all right because Q was only coming out of her womb. Yes. Come on now, huh? How many of you know she's a part of him being sent? Yes. Oh, Y'all yes. play too much. Yes. Uh, Aquila and Priscilla. Ain't no just no Aquila. I got a new protege I ain't talking about. Uh, so, so these kids are my protege. This one right here. Cause, Cause she's, she's beautiful. Girl. Yeah, oh, she's trying to get into a leadership where she won't allow you to be sneaky. Come on, Cam. Cause you're the baby. Mm -hmm. You know, you got an awesome brother who, whew, my man, that man got good eyesight. <laughs> <laughs> he 
you got an awesome sister, but you the baby. So, you know, you got Lala, and you got yeah. this role, you got Zoe, you got all Candace's. We got some great role models in here. Yeah. Amen. Huh? <laughs> so that none of y'all grow up being a dusty doja cat. <laughs> Keyword is dusty. All right. So that, that, that you'll understand the responsibility of being sent out of your generation. Don't drop. Don't fail. That's right. Huh? Teach, if we told you who Ariel was, a, she was a freshman. She just grew up. She just was a freshman looking for somebody. And the person who she thought was all that, I don't know what they're doing right now. But here comes some, your mama to fancy word, augment Tim and Michelle. And now we have a great woman of God in London. Amen. Okay. But at one time, she wasn't that way. She was a freshman thinking maybe we were, hold, we were holding something back from her. Right, right. Went to the restaurant and saw a girl who, went, who walked down, was on the stage the same day she was. And when she saw her life, and air like she was on the job. She just dropped her head, Leandre. Right when she should have been waiting on folks. We got the restaurant. She was dropping her head. Thinking about how could we be in the same school. And her life is the opposite of my life. A word. A word, a word. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Can I help you? Yes. If a word can't help you, you can't be helped. That's right. There's a word for your situation. There's a word for your mental state. There's a word for your loneliness. There's a word for your healing. There's a word for your tear. There's a word for your experience. There's a word, a word, a word, a word. And you ran it out till you get another word. How many of y'all went from word to word? If it wasn't you to lost your mind, I got to have a word. I'm going to prove it. So it's going to take a word. Psalm 105, you just now getting the scripture. Mm -hmm. Verse 17. Now I'll show you one scripture. I want Brandon to get a word. Mm -hmm. I want Prashana to be the kind of wife that allows Sylvan cleaning to grow. Yes. Quit fighting who's supposed to help you. Oh, man, that's rough. That's whoever was fighting. You know, I, don't, I, don't, I, don't even, I don't even know where y'all live. Probably both of y'all. Both of y'all think y'all little Tysons. I don't know. I'm just guessing. No, but they cool, though. They, they smiling. Some of y'all ain't even smiling. I ain't even talking about you. <laughs> Marie. He sent a man before them, even Joseph. <laughs> even Joseph. All that stuff. Try to get out two years early. Y'all like, oh, no, you, uh-uh. It ain't time yet. You got two more years to go. Ooh, that's hard when it's you. Because while you're going through that period of time, you say to you, your life ain't never going to change. This is it. You got to have a word to keep going, man. Y'all play too much, huh? You got to have a word. You have to have a word. Or Satan will be successful in emotionally displacing you into your own will. And your own will is a wrap, folk. And you'll sit back and wish you had heard a word. That's why we do stuff that's redundant. Praise God every Sunday. We got to thank God for what we already have. Because you ain't in Yavaldi. You ain't in Fort Myers, Florida. Amen. And some of you so messed up, even when you see it, you still ain't grateful. Now, you know you in trouble. How many of y'all thankful your child sitting next to you? A 15-year-old went to Raleigh. Kids is getting kidnapped. Man, come on, be grateful on the 16th. And hope is here on the 23rd. <laughs> Vicky, every time I go to Chicago, my, my, my little, my little parrot, because even Trajan, she got that eye. She said, your place reminds me of parrot. Yeah, it does. All right. First thing I do, I hit the floor. Same thing in Montreal. I hit the floor. Mm -hmm. 
I lived next door to Neiman Marcus, but I still hit the floor. That's Not right. Neiman. That's right. God, I remember being in pain here. Come on. I remember looking at the clock thinking two hours had passed and only five minutes had passed. I remember being sick here. Some virus, whatever. I was like, Lord, don't let me die here. I remember. <laughs> Lord, I thank you for a place of refuge. Man, I learned to be thankful. Lord, have mercy. Thankful. Yes. Huh? Yes. Davion, I have the same old school Yamaha stereo system that I bought in Montreal back in 2000, whatever year I was there. And I still play the same song by Kurt Whalen over and over again that reminds me of where God brought me from. That's right, Bishop. Okay. That's good. It's a fight to stay above. Your own will. Ooh, yes, sir. Now my fighters know what I'm talking about. The rest of y'all, y'all. It's a fight, amen. Yes, it is. That's why some of y'all now y'all look forward, amen, to church and the word. I gotta get a word to help me, amen, in my fight. Cause I'm fighting. I don't have no exit. I ain't got nothing besides this. I gotta stay above a repro. I don't have no way out. I Who in here besides your soul is everything to you. Being in God's will is everything to you. Being thankful and giving God a prayer is everything to you. Everything. It means everything. Joseph, he was sold as a servant. Yes. Whose feet they hurt with feathers. Some pain in this. Somebody tell you, ain't no pain, Khalid. They lying. Oh, come on, you little liars. Loneliness hurts. Disappointment hurts. Mm -hmm. Being tricked hurts. God wasn't tricked. We were tricked, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. Hurts. Yes. Aches. All of it. Mm -hmm. yeah. My daughter Pam in pain. Hurt man. Mm. Hey, here's something we forgot to thank God for. Look at, I've been praying for Caleb. Caleb is now back in his chair. Yeah. Amen. Because his faculties, that C7 vertebrae. Oh, can I get some of y'all to thank God for your C7 vertebrae? Can you thank God for somebody else's child? Because you don't know when it's going to be your child. Zoe. Yeah. My little Zoe Barlow. Hey Amen. I see an empty seat here. Her and Tinka go to the same school. I think didn't somebody go by Belvedere tripping? Something, something beverage? Something remember their school. Maybe it was yeah, beverage. It was beverage. Something was going on. Mm -hmm. uh, you know these these ask my daughter, these pedophile <laughs> sick folk around looking for kids when they dismiss from school. Uh -huh. yeah. Huh? Yep. Lord Hammer. We don't take nothing for granted. That's, right. uh, that's that Z sweater from uh, uh, Black Ronnie that y'all can't get. That's her Z for Zoe. Amen. Y'all can't get that. All right, huh? That's Black Ronnie. That's it. I'm like, y'all, we got too small. <laughs> anyway, all right. It got be lying. All of us are liars. <laughs> it, it got too small. Uh, no, it didn't. Verse 19. So 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 he, he he's in pain. Yes. He in <laughs> I hear y'all. Y'all know I'm good. I hear y'all whispering. <laughs> he was laid in iron. Mm -hmm. It's a little thing, cause old girl fine, coach. He, he oh, you gonna look at me. I'm fine. And if you don't, you gonna you, you, you get tired of bleeding every day. Every day. Not every other day. Every day. Why? A nation was at stake. Uh-huh. That's right. All those girls in that program, that's why I tell coach, carrier. You don't know who those souls are. Huh? You don't know. <laughs> that man. That 
engineer is going to face devils. Not fix equipment. Huh? Yeah. There was no other Apple employee that go down there and face what that man can face. That's right. That's right. Man, y'all. Yes, sir. God never just sends you for you. That's how you know you ain't sent. Uh-huh. Okay? It's never about you. Uh-oh. Verse 19, I'm about done. Until the time that his word his, his what came, came? His word came. So, so when your word come, you ain't sick no more. You ain't broke no more. You ain't lonely no more. Amen. You ain't what my, my, you fill it up. You you your word. Anybody want a word today? I need a word. Amen. Huh? Huh? Uh, I need a word to help me wait on the word. Oh, write that down. That was right. I need a word to help. Oh, man, I was good. I should drop the mic, Vicky. I need a word to help me wait on the word that's going to loose me. Anybody know that this thing ain't permanent? I need a word to help me wait on the word. I need a word. I didn't get that from nobody. I need a word. To help me wait on the word. The word of the Lord tried him. How long does it last? Long enough to know that when it's over, you're going to tell folk it was God. You ain't going to say my doctor. You ain't going to say this. Have y'all noticed I ain't give the man, man, I mean, it's hot, whatever. But it was God. It was God. It was God. Amen. It was God. Huh? They watch us go to the auction and they know, amen, we got to get financing for cars. This man financed up out of his own pocket and they see it. Oh, Lord, have mercy. They already looking at that cross out at, at the auction. We walking around like we got his money. Oh, y'all. Uh. so much stuff happening every week I tell myself watch it a word for a word right tomorrow belongs to God God we need our our, 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 our federal EIN state insurance umbrella we even have to insure the signage so the wind don't blow it down couple of million dollars, folk. We need insurance. Huh? I'm back to me now. God does what? Why would God fund, get me in the house right. that was going to fund the business right. and forget the insurance? That's right. He ain't going to do it. He can't do it. Right. Now, see, if I take my glasses off, I hope God don't see like this. Don't you say a word. <laughs> Dang blurry. If this is God's vision, I'm going to quit. I ain't never coming back here again, y'all. That's not, it, not only am I in trouble, you in a hell of a lot of trouble. Amen. Because ain't, no- <laughs> ain't nothing clear. <laughs> That's not his vision. Oh, no. Is that Tasha? Oh, no, it ain't. <laughs> Ain't nothing. Cl- oh, oh, here we go. Now we back. <laughs> if God see, like, ooh, man, I got people here. Some of y'all ain't saying because your vision worse than mine. <laughs> we got one honest person, huh? Some of y'all, I, I can't. I'm cute without them. <laughs> can't. <laughs> can't see nothing. Now look at look at y'all. Can't say amen off that. I got a, I got a child here. I said, those are play glasses she got. <laughs> Ain't no way to wear you that young and you looking at it. <laughs> those, those are play. And she said, no, they not. I said, Lord, thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Good gracious. But God sees 
what we need. Yes, he does. <laughs> huh? So I, I hear word every, because I could take that check, bought something else fancy, and just do what I, that's so easy. Now I can't take my naps no more during the week. <laughs> like, I, I got to go get me another pack of energy drinks when I leave here. Huh? Okay. <laughs> no, like, I'm in this roller coaster. Go. I got to give it that Cammy. That oh. Cammy, man, that Cammy is on it, on it, on it. Hey, man, hey, that, that's Zoe Daddy. He on it, on it, on it. He already at work, and then I pull up a few hours later. <laughs> Amen. Thank you. Until the time that his word came, the word of the Lord tried him. Look at verse after the word came. What happened? Verse twenty. Time is the king. Oh, we gotta go. Sent him. The king sent and loosed him. The, after the word came, what happened? The king sent and loosed. Him. Loose him. You one word away. Ooh, Ooh that's good. You one word. That's good. Uh, you one word away. Loose the man. Uh -huh. You know what? Ooh. Yes. You should speak a word on yourself. That's Don't good. just sit there and speak a word on yourself. You one word away. Oh, speak a word on yourself. Wave your fragrance. Wave your life. Wave your faithfulness. Wave your thanksgiving. Because of loving kindness is better than life. Our live will praise him. You one word away. Amen. Loose your that's why Satan don't want you to speak. That's why he don't want you to talk. That's why he don't want you to praise God. Your hands are your weapons. Put your hands together. The way he teach your hands how to war. Amen. You are pray. Put a word on yourself. You one word from being loose. Who do? He'll do everything to stop you from speaking a word. Everything. All right. Yes, so the king ain't got no choice. Sit and loose him. Mm -hmm. Even, the, Even the ruler of the people. You go from the pen to being second in charge. Mm -hmm. And let him go what? Free. Anybody got freedom on your mind? All right. Anybody want to be free of whatever it is? Let's go ahead and get free from God. Anybody feel like casting down those imaginations? Anybody feel like casting down an imagination? And Im oh, I got to finish this. Somebody came here bound. And I'm going to see if I can read a scripture. Free you up. Ooh, buddy. But man, if, if you'd have stayed home, I ain't doing house call. Unless you unless you first watch, I ain't seeing you. And even then I gotta go to work. Ooh, it look real bad. It look real bad. I went on Saturday. <laughs> got these two little girls, they just they just got stare at me. They now they all got flyaway eyelashes and they just like who you you know what? So I, I come in, so I asked the one, you see, you got a lot of nerve. You pick where you want to sit down. I showed I got a whole much more nerve than you than you ever seen in your life. I said, give me that back wall. Because, you know, I don't care. I am on 106 to no Negro. Folk got problems. I got to see what come through that door. Everybody out there ain't getting along. That's Everybody right. out there ain't solid as a rock, Ashford and Simpson. Okay. So I got to look. That's it. <laughs> and so so I, 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 I pass by some colored people. <laughs> you know, they, I, I didn't, I didn't look, what I had on was expensive, but I didn't look like something they wanted to speak to. Cool. I, now, you know, they on that, whatever. I'm cool. <laughs> yeah. They didn't see what I pulled up in. Yeah. <laughs> so, I sit behind them, they talking politics. Yeah. Probably ain't even registered yeah. voters. So here come the two teenagers. 
and they tell me everything that goes on at Millard North, uh, these schools out there selling, those kids are bringing, this is her exact word, cocaine to school. They're bringing drugs to school. They have pills to school. All these, huh? I fit, no, all these, oh, at, yeah. at school, they bring them to school. These girls are doing drugs in the bathroom. It's like, damn. So they, they, so they both talking to me. So here comes the, 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 the manager. So she comes and sits. So here the black man be sitting behind the colored people who couldn't speak. And the two teenage white females and an older one, and the older one sitting down, and we having Tuesday night Bible class. All right. And I'm telling them to cut off people to know, have no discipline, and you got a gift, and you got a gift. And they sitting there, people, like, who is this surrounded? Come on, Bishop. Surrounded. Yes, Lord. Focus all. Oh, look at I me. Mean, you, you know, where y'all said at? The whole scene. As the man, she's sitting down. The other two, they standing up and they in the corner and I'm and I'm I'm talking to them, but I'm looking at what they look like. To the point they look at the front door to see who need help because I was sent there. Yes, sir. To be fed and to feed. Come on, Bishop. Huh? Come on. Yes, sir. And my food is better than their food. That's it. My food. Yes, it is. Huh? Yes, it is. Which is coming from God. God saying, tell this one that. Tell her this that. Tell this. Bo-. Come on. Lo and behold. Yes. Come on. I know the colored people were listening. But there was a, a, a elderly white couple that was sitting next. They was listening to everything I told those girls. And when they, they finally had to leave because they had work to do. That lady turned around me. And said, I was listening to what you was telling them. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Huh? In yes. other words, huh? We never saw, amen, that that man in that corner with that kind of, don't ask. So the, the, the lady said, every time you leave here, somebody asked me, who is he? That's right. Ooh, y'all, huh? That's right. Huh? That's well, when I told Davion that, yes. Davion cut me off and said, you somebody that was sent, amen. Yes. Don't look at the car, but look who drives you. Oh, Lord have mercy, amen. Who drives you? Can you stand to be blessed? I wasn't sent for the colored people. Then they, then they want to look like they want to speak to me when I left. No, 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 it's my time to be. You talking politics. I'm talking life changing discipline. You keep talking politics. You know how people talk, they want to speak. They look up because they were listening. Nah. Uh, I'll help y'all. The anointing gone now. I'm back into being me now. Nah, nah, bro. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. Don't slide in now. Huh? Don't slide in now. <laughs> it's the responsibility of being sent. I wasn't sent for them. Uh-huh. That's it. And the fact what made it beautiful. I call them color because, you know, I just be sarcastic like that. Yeah. You understand. But I was talking to not three white females. I was talking to three souls. That's right. That's right. Stuff that they didn't think no black man Huh? They was probably listening to see, okay, who is he? Is he some kind of pimp move? Or is he some kind of whatever? Why are they all sitting there? Yes. Sent, man. I was sent. Yes, sir. Yes, Lord. Now, the, the older one, she done, I, I done made her cry so many times. Uh, but the other one of them is her sister. And, and they, they, just, they just stare at me. They just stare at me. And now they like, no wonder you sit down here and talk. And the old lady heard me say, you know what your problem is at Miller North? I said, those parents are too busy being their children's friends. That's right. That's I said, look at the four girls that all died. Right. The pretty girls, the it girls. Yep. Huh? Yep. And, 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 and mm. Drinking it out. we all going to ask you to party, act a fool. God, remember Devin right now. All those little pretty girls, well built, acting a fool yep. with condoms. Man, they are buck wild. Yep. Can you imagine what happened when Tennessee beat Alabama? The ho- are you kidding? Ain't beat them in th- what thirteen years? Y'all, do y'all know 
know how loose college is? It is. All day, every that's why we thank God for Skyler being a man of God. He ain't there with no bad reputation. There's ugly dudes that untapped everything. He a good looking Skyler. Amen. Gonna found what Lord help. Flavor flavor and went through the whole school. Got little clocks all over the place. Flavor Flay, everybody got a clock. He done clocked everything on the campus. So your friends tried to come to your church and think you can't get what Skylar has on no one visit. Because <laughs> you were sent to, pr- they're going to be talking about you long after you leave. You weren't sent there to wild out. You weren't sent there to use your handsomeness. That's right. That's right. You were sent to find haven and move forward, bro. Amen. Huh? Now, you know, now, before I go eat breakfast, uh, this is your opportunity to examine places you sent yourself. I would be remiss to go home, everybody happy. <laughs> where, 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 where did you see in you? And how that thing work it out? Not good. Uh-huh. Bishop in my bitter. Not if you ain't sick. <laughs> I, I ain't going by your shop. Right. Are you kidding? You ain't sin. I ain't in your business. Okay. <laughs> You'll never be able to say when he walked through. I ain't coming through. You out there on your own. <laughs> Trust and believe that. Uh, we gonna we gonna we gonna we gonna destroy something. So look at verse. Somebody want to be free. Uh, start at verse. Where are we? Three. Psalms. No, no. Uh, Second Corinthians. We got to free if somebody need to be Martin Luther King free. <laughs> Second Corinthians chapter 10. And verse 3. You know how when you get home after church, you get free, you, up, you unholster everything, <laughs> and you just don't care no more. Hey, man, you just bouncing. You jello that can't stop bouncing. You just don't. <laughs> you just, uh, huh, right now you barely can breathe. You got enough energy to hit the boob after that. You like, man, you, huh? I'm trying to free you like that. <laughs> Verse, oh, I mean. Verse 3, Second Timothy. Verse 3, hurry up. Second Corinthians. For though we walk in the flesh. You in the flesh, you ain't in the spirit. Quit lying. <laughs> we do not walk. Only time you in the spirit is when you drunk. And that's alcohol. That ain't the spirit of God. Okay. <laughs> Read Second we, Corinthians. We do not war after the flesh. We, uh, some of us. For the weapons <laughs> of our warfare are not carnal. If good thing you don't pull a gun on yourself, you wouldn't be here. <laughs> <laughs> but I, even then, I think if you try to shoot your lust, you would miss. I think. <laughs> trying to miss. I, I think your I think you so nasty and pornographic that your lust would slap the gun out your head. That's a nasty lust. You ever seen? Mark, is it Michael J J White? J White? Is it Michael J White? J White? That man put a gun on him, and he's looking at it. Was that Mike or Denzel? Somebody pulled a gun on there. And look at, he look at, all of a sudden, now he got the gun. That's what your lust would do to you. <laughs> you pull, your, your lust, I'll snap that thing out. Your lust say, you the so e- weak, I'll put my equalize. finger in the barrel and you'll blow up. The equalize. <laughs> That's real, folk. Mm-hmm. Ain't nothing to play with. Huh? Huh? There is good lust. All right. When a husband lusts 
after his wife, after all the years, yeah. when a wife lost, that's good lust. Now, y'all, y'all do the best y'all can. I'm about to dismiss y'all. I should have dismissed you early, but <laughs> yeah, well, watch this. You need to suffer for a while. <laughs> Ain't right. <laughs> I feel Luther Ingram coming on me. This time, Bishop. <laughs> Read. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds. To the pulling down of strongholds, not draws. See, I'd be remiss. Look, Sister Brown back there like, you the craziest. <laughs> That's why you keep coming. Like, I, I ain't got no script up here. Right. Huh? Come on, <laughs> Teach. Teach. Stronghold. Good reminder. Good reminder. Read. Casting down <laughs> imaginations <laughs> and every high Casting thing. Casting down what? Anybody beside me got imagination that need to just come on down? Yeah. Man, man, y'all, 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 huh? Come on now. Yes, sir. Cast don't sound like, how many of y'all, your mind so bad, you can't lay it down. You got to cast that thing cast down. Cast it. Huh? Just slam it down. You, you got to do what? Slam it down. See, that's, what, that's why some of y'all fail. <laughs> you walk around with, I probably need two, but I got to help with the mic. Yeah, put that one in top. That's all the lust. <laughs> watch this. Watch this. And, and look, I ain't talking to nobody, but and you in church, and don't think I see what you hold. <laughs> and, and it's busy. I don't know what y'all looking at. I, I'm telling you right now, that's how I see you. I ain't talked to you. You ought to be glad your name came up. <laughs> all right. If you carrying all this lust and your name don't come up, <laughs> something you holding going to kill you. Ooh. Now you sitting here, I, I, at least I'm in church. You ought to be glad I came. No, you ought to be glad you came. Amen. Well, what you holding, you better be glad you came. Huh? You better hear worse so you can drop it. Amen. Oh, Lord, have mercy. You better drop it. And some of you are so bad shape. You better drop it and kick it. Amen. Because that thing is about to destroy. You better drop it because it's hot. Uh, hold on. You had to pick my lust up. <laughs> Now, now, now you. <laughs> now somebody, somebody pick, somebody pick my lust up. It didn't even, my lust didn't get a chance to come down. You better. See, now, now wait. Now folk don't want to give an offer no more because they having mind fights about the bass. <laughs> See, and when, when you're in trouble, uh -huh. you can't lay it down. No. You better drop it. It's hot. <laughs> it's hot. Hey, Brandon, what's you tying my lust together? <laughs> Not my basket's in sin. My basket's in sin. The word <laughs> came, you could drop it, and then you make a mistake. You look at it. It's good. Come on, teach. Yes, sir. Bring it. Somebody already know where I'm going. Should have just turned around and walked. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then you're in church. Move your head, wait. I can't see my lust. <laughs> You're still looking at it. In church. Oh, my Lord. 
Then I say something, you're getting mad at me. Because your lust send you a text message. <laughs> Tell you Bishop Trippy. He just don't want you to have. Come on, teach, teach. <laughs> so you in church, uh-huh. even though you sitting there, your mind. Say, so why are you getting so close? In case God changes mind about my lust. <laughs> In case God changes mind. Uh-huh. You know, I'm a I'm a powerful woman of God, <laughs> man of God. Uh-huh. Huh? I can get this close to my lust and not do nothing. Y'all man, y'all my man. You don't know who God, you don't know who, who God's man God was. I can sit down by my lust. I ain't did nothing. But you know I'm powerful. I can put my hand on my lust. We ain't did nothing. I can talk to my lust, text it. I ain't slept in about a month. Been talking to my lust at night. I'm winning them to the Lord. To, my, to the Lord. <laughs> I can hold my lust. You know what happened then? Oh, hell, I don't went this far. I'm just going to go on back and go on. T- right. That's what happens. That's exactly. That's okay. it. That's it. You got to cast it down. Cast can I help? I don't, I'm not going to just keep watching you and for you to cast down what's killing you. You want to be free? What you don't see is the effect on those tied into you living. See, your lust trying to separate you from what really matters. That's your child. That's your lollyhood. Your man, man, man is, is trying to separate. That's why you see church. You have so many mind fights. It's trying to separate. You got to cast it down. Anyone in the church with any kind of le- longevity, whether you viral, may leave me, it, that, we can cast stuff down, folks. Yes, Lord. You can't bring this stuff into no church year after year because sooner or later you're going to pick your lust up and go. Casting down, I'm getting hurt, imagination and every, every high thing. Now, if he's high, that's easy. He's high, <laughs> and, and, and high thing that exalt itself against the what? The knowledge of God. You know better. Yes, Lord. And you bring it into captivity. Every thought, you lay a notice scripture by heart. To the what? To the obedience. Of Pastor Barlow. Of Christ. No, 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 no Christ. Let me get ahead of myself. And I'm done. It's one thing for Joseph to be sent. It's another thing. You can know that you're sent. But it's another thing when you open your mouth and speak what you know. That's the next level. I'll pick it up on Wednesday, Tuesday. Yeah. So, so Genesis 45 and 8. He tells the same people who threw him in the ditch. He said... God sent me. Yes. When it comes out of your mouth, watch what happens in Silicon Valley. God sent me. Huh? Is it to work on a computer? Is it to work on a light? God sent me. Somebody done sent an SOS call out to only one Apple employee, amen, who happens, amen, to have went to Berkeley. But that employee is coming in the name of the Lord. Who in here know, amen, I'm coming in the name of the Lord. I'm not coming in my own name. I'm coming in the name of the Lord. Amen. That foundation 90 started. It's crystals. Amen. But she's coming in the name of the Lord because crystal walked in the name of the Lord. Somebody shout hallelujah. If you coming in the name of the Lord, you're truly sick. God don't send you to destroy people. God ain't sending you to destroy your wife. God ain't seen you destroy your husband. You ain't being sent to destroy nothing. You being sent to save life, to feed folk. 
with your testimony. With your test. That's right. Timony. Every head bow. Beautiful. I bet those color folks speak to me again when they see me. I just got hope I'm in the right spirit. <laughs> Every head bow. Every head bow. Even if you ain't praying, bow your head, make it look like it. <laughs> ain't bit more praying. Oh, well, you keep living, you're going to learn how to pray. Yeah, trust me, you 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 gonna learn. Life will teach you how to pray. Life a tremendous body puncher. Pray, KT. We thank God that God sent this man of God to Silicon Valley. Woo, my goodness. Whoa, my goodness. Sent. <laughs> Took a seed into him and then seeded. <laughs> Pray, KT. Beautiful family. Precious Lord, Father, and Savior in heaven. Uh, KT, some of them not over my lust demonstration, but keep praying anyway. <laughs> they looking at the basket of evil now. <laughs> <laughs> Pray, KT. Lord, we thank you for your vision. Not our vision, Father, because... We always looking at stuff we not supposed to be looking at. Always. Always. We need a word in order to receive your vision. A word for a word. A word for that word that releases you. Because our time is not what we see, but it's what you see, Father. Yes. So we have to hear a word to be where we're purposed to be. Somebody was in the right place right now at the right time to hear this word. Hmm. Somebody has had a bad habit of destroying other people's lives, and that's not what they were sent to do. Oh, my goodness. Somebody found themselves at the wrong place at the wrong time. Hmm. All because they weren't in the right place to hear your word. My goodness. Lord, we're just one word away from being loosed. Ooh. One word. And this might be the word that does it. Lord, we thank you for your vision. We thank you for your place, plan, provision. Your vision brings us into the place, plan, provision that you have for us. My Lord. And we thank you because your word is valuable right now. We give you all praise, honor, and glory in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Come on, let's thank God that a young man, a young family being sent, shalak. Is there one? Here's the altar call. Is there one? Now y'all don't have to act like y'all praying when y'all weren't. Is there one young man, young lady, you have a need to repent, be baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ? Is there one young man, young lady? You have a need. Jehovah Jireh. God sees. He sees your frustrations. Your decades of frustrations. Your attempts of ha to be happy. Your attempts to be joyful. Your attempts to live a life worth meaning. And some of your best dreams that went down like Drano. You would watch them swirl around and disappear. 
but God. God is able to restore the years that the locusts have eaten. He's the only one I know who can restore years. Are you here, young man, young lady? There's a reason why the enemy has did everything to try to get you to quit. But God, the suicide attempts that failed, the pills that wouldn't take effect, the knife that wasn't sharp enough, huh? the bridge you couldn't get to. Somebody here got a victory down in their soul. They thank God. Thank God. When Satan tried to push your mind over the edge. Thank God. Thank God for the angelic. The angels. Are you here, young woman, young man? Hmm? Time you were supposed to meet up, but you couldn't meet up. Oh, Lord. Boy, God has delivered us out of some stuff. Some stuff. Are you here? No one? Let's collect our tithes and offering and go home. A way that suffered enough. All right. Hey, Amen. He can say, I know it's a suffering way, but not today. <laughs> I got to announce this. Uh, so you're... Dr. Ho, come, come back, come back. Your, you tell us. My doctoral degree was certified and conferred on 1013. Get that mic, mic right there. You gotta tell, cause we, we want to celebrate because he's got a game plan. Tell him, tell him what happened. My, my doctoral degree was. No, no, now speak that. My doctoral degree was conferred and certified on 1013 in substance abuse and addiction. From did did y'all hear that? His doctoral degree was certified. We was calling him Dr. Holt before he was Dr. Holt, but now he really is Dr. Holt because we didn't stop talking. Tell them what the plan is. It's important because in Africa, because of the genocide, substance abuse and addiction are affecting families there big time. And I'm getting my training at the Sienna Francis Miracle Program, which is a substance abuse and addiction program dealing with individuals who are suffering. And so I'm getting my training for Africa. <laughs> Another one, what? Come on, come on, a doctoral degree? The second one, my Lord. Oh, y'all double up on that, double up on that. Man, see, you just want to be an African, but some of us is going to Africa. And buying. Oh, I'm gonna step on in. Oh, James. Ooh. It's for you or James? Oh, for you, Michael. Put that seed in the ground. I mean, hush your mouth, Lord. He heard something, y'all. All right, y'all want to play? Here it is, right here. You know that other home. The home that y'all paid off, here's some homes. Here's some homes. Huh? Me and Cammy will be in position to make sure you get the vehicles necessary for your next endeavor. Along with you. Y'all play too much. I say we in position. Because you need vehicles for what you're trying to do. 
Yeah, this ain't no game, folk. Wow. This ain't no game. Y'all just, y'all just try to look at my fancy shoes I got in Paris. That's what y'all. You got cash? That is a miracle because your generation. What, what you mean? Oh, oh, what, you, what you laughing at? No, you can't even see that. You can't. Somebody heard something, right? Remember, this ain't no game. I don't. I heard something. That's why I'm in the position I'm in. But the other, did I say that me and Cameron position to get the vehicles he need? Huh? And Bo and other people, we in a position. Well, y'all don't understand that. Huh? And you prophesy. See, you, you get a line of credit. Well, the man I bought the business from don't have a line of credit. He funds it all out of his pocket. And she prophesied and said, me and Cam going to be the same way. So the line of credit is just temporary. To, ooh, y'all. Because when you sin, it's to be a blessing. When you sin, it's to be a blessing. Huh? So now, uh, we, Queenie, we already got you lined up. So where you get turned down one play, but now you can go to one who sent. I, I know your record. Oh, uh, y'all play too much, huh? <laughs> I wish Todd Andrews was here. He's sick. He said he was in the office when Jerry Rosen talked to me. I'm living in Raven Oaks, a $130,000 house. And he said, this was in 1995, 96. He said, I have a house in Regency. I said, what it cost? He says, $250,000. I can't afford it. See, I didn't know that God sees. I can't afford. I said, I have bad credit. He said, you have good credit with me. God. Huh? Watch this. God saw. Lord, and now God did it again. Ooh, he did it again. He did it again. 